Hey, this is Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And today we're gonna to be going over the Skechers lineup. And do us a favor before we get started, hit that like button or subscribe to our channel. Just real quick, I mean, right yeah. now, just do it. I guarantee, if by the end of the video you regret your decision. You, you can take it back. You can take it back. But you're not gonna, because you're gonna love it. Yeah, you're gonna come back for more. Every day. All the time. Or whenever we have a new video. Now. Do it now, I'm watching you and I see the finger. Mm. Oh, thank you. They didn't do Thank it. you. <laughs> So we're gonna start off with their daily trainers, what I would call your everyday shoe, and then we'll go into some of their speed shoes. As far as the lineup goes, they've got you covered for your daily runs. We'll start off with the Go Run 7 Plus, which is one of our favorite trainers right now, and it's all because of the Hyperburst. Honestly, probably the best midsole in the game at this point, one of the best. Yeah, I'd have to say my favorite midsoles right now are Nike React Foam, the Zoom X Foam, Hyperburst, and I say Fuel Cell from New Balance right now is killing it for me. And then of course, you've kind of got a Hyperburst-like material in Brooks Tempo Shoe. Is that the DNA Flash? It is the DNA Flash. It's also a nitrogen, nitrogen infused midsole. Robbie, if I was gonna recommend one shoe to get started with, with Skechers, it would be this Go Run 7 Plus. If you're gonna go run, go run. Yeah. It's got that midsole for your daily runs. It's got a six millimeter drop and weighs 8.57 ounces or 243 grams. Look at the metric system working got for Robbie. That. It's got a nice new upper now. We didn't really like the knit upper. It stretched, it was sloppy over the midsole. They've really cleaned it up, dialed it in, and this shoe is your daily trainer. Light, fast, bouncy with the hyperburst. This is a good one. So say that you just need a little more cush. Just a little more? Just a little more. How about this shoe right here? The Go Run Ride 8. Now what's interesting about this shoe is it was a surprise hit last year, and it was a surprise hit before they put the hyperburst on. They were using their regular foam. Now it's got a hyperburst. It's got more bounce to it. It's got a nice fitting upper. They've smoothed out and cleaned up some of the lines as far as the overlays. This is a super daily trainer for lots and lots of miles. Still got that nice amount of rubber on the bottom. Goodyear rubber. Goodyear rubber. Goodyear rubber is also in the Go Run, but now they're putting it throughout the line, and this one has Goodyear rubber, hyperburst midsole, and a nice fitting knit upper. So this one can really work for a lot of people. The only problem is in the lineup, if you really care about weight, between the three shoes we're gonna show you for a daily trainer, this one weighs the most. Yeah, it does. Again, it's a six millimeter drop, weighs 10.34 ounces. Or 293 grams. Yeah, which is a lot heavier than this one, but you get that really cushioned heel. If you're going long and you're a heel striker or something like that, this shoe might be the one for you. Still, again, six millimeter drop. All the daily trainers are. So guess what the drop is on the Max Road, Robbie? I'm gonna say six. I'd say that's a good answer. Yeah. Look at that, six, six, six. Oh. oh. What? Bam. What's crazy is this is called the Max Road 4. You would think that would be more cushioning and more. You would think that you know, for those long, long miles. I happen to know this is a favorite trainer of Connor over at Running Warehouse. Really? The Max, the Max Road 4? Yeah, when I was out there, he was actually wearing it for casual wear as well. Wow. But he told me he loves this shoe. We both ran in this shoe, and we found it to be a little bit warm. Mm -hmm. uh, in the wintertime, it's a great shoe. Yeah. If you feel warm. Um, but, but other than that, it does provide a nice, like, hyperburst ride. Yeah, and what I'm excited about this is perhaps in the next version, We'll see them move away from the knit in this one as well. We've had some people complain about blisters in this shoe, and the only thing I can tell you is either run in cooler temps or make sure you're wearing a sock that does well with blisters. Wrap those feet up. Yeah. This is a thick knitted upper. It's It may cause issues for you. I mean, you could wear it as a sweater for Christmas. Yeah. Think about that. So again, of my favorites of the or daily no. trainers, I'd probably go with the Go Run 7 Plus. What about you, Rob? Yeah, I'd probably go with the same one, although I haven't actually worn the 7 Plus, but all our reviewers loved it across the board. It's really one of the favorite shoes they've reviewed in a while. Um, definitely trying to try it out soon, so we'll see. So that's the daily trainers. Let's move on now to the speed. So now we're getting into speed, and this is where the fun oh, starts. Yeah. I have to tell you, Probably one of my all-time favorite shoes ever. 
has got to be the Razor 3. I mean, you love that shoe. I and a, a lot of our reviewers love that shoe. Just in general, shoe geeks love it. Yeah. And why do they love it? First off, it's really simple. You basically have that great hyperburst midsole, and we've dropped down all the speed shoes, our four millimeter drop. So you've got a four millimeter drop midsole of hyperburst shoe, and this was the first hyperburst I ran in. So maybe that's another reason I feel a little bit of nostalgia for it, because it was like out of the box of surprise, and I was like, this is fun. I mean, it looks like a fun shoe, and it's super light too. Yeah. Some people complain about the speed on the side, having the text on the side. I kind of like it. I don't care. To be honest, it's better than having the large Skechers S the whole way across. I mean, just throw some speed text on there, kind of distract you from the rest of it. Yeah. It's all good. And I tell you, if anybody runs in this shoe, they won't care what's printed on it because it's so much fun to run in. Just a really simple upper, fits great. The midsole is awesome. They've updated it now. All the shoes are getting the Goodyear rubber on the bottom. This one was before they did that and it still was fantastic. We get so many comparisons to this shoe. People want to know what's, what's a shoe like it that Robbie, you just went and asked Skechers to send you the suit just so you have a point of reference. I did, I mean, I asked, I went straight to him and said, I need to be running in this shoe. Can you get me a pair? Get mine in a couple of days, I'm pretty stoked. So Robbie, size 10 and a half, what's it come in at? So this comes in at six and a half ounces or 184 grams. For a shoe that you can use as a daily trainer and get speed work out of, I mean, this is ridiculous. Yeah, that's Ridiculously nice. light. That's real nice. If there was only one shoe I could have, this would be the shoe. Yeah, and that's six ounces for 10 and a half, so you're under the six mark for, yeah. for normal size. All the shoes that we're talking about today are a size 10 and a half, right. so all the weights are about size 10 and a half. Now we're gonna move to the Speed 6, and it looks light, it feels light, but it's really not that much lighter than the Razor. I mean, this is a shoe people were pretty excited about in the last fall. Yeah. I mean, when it came out, it looks a lot like the Elite. Um, it is super light. It kind of reminds me, feel-wise, of a Nike Streak 6. It okay. has that fast day feel. This is not one that I enjoyed so much for daily runs. This was, you're putting this on to do speed. And they had a little bit of issues with sizing when it first came out. They're addressing those in midline updates, so okay. it should be um, getting corrected, and you should be able to find the size you need. if. You want to be on the safe side, I would go a half size up to a full size up in this shoe. When you're ordering it, maybe if you order from, like say, Running Warehouse, order two sizes, your regular size and a full size up. Try them both on and make sure that you're getting the fit that works for you. It is a racer. It is supposed to fit a little more snug. Yeah. So in talking about that, let's talk more about the upper. What's that like? Because it looks a lot different than maybe yeah. a lot of the others we see. This mesh is closest to what we would call the vapor weave from Nike. It's a really lightweight, durable, breathable mesh. It, I mean, it's not something that's built for close to the foot comfort as much as it is light and breathable. And you can see it's pretty much translucent. Yeah. You can see your, I mean, you can see, your fingers right through that. Yeah, you probably can't because it's a camera, it can't do everything, but yeah, it's light, it's translucent. This shoe is great. Now, the crazy thing about this one, you can see it's got the Goodyear rubber, is it's not as much of a weight drop as you would expect yeah, from you, the Razor you, 3. You would think with that upper and being these, another speed shoe that's supposed to be a lot faster, you'd think it'd be lighter. So Robbie, what's the Speed 6 weigh? So this weighs six ounces or 171 grams, so it's slightly lighter. It is slightly lighter, but for me, to get that extra cushion feel that I got from the Razor 3, I feel like between these two shoes, I'm still gonna go Razor 3 on race day and for training day. Okay. Now we get into the magic. And this this is very magical, because it's coming in at a weight that we're not sure how it's possible. I've seen cigarette smoke that weighs more than this <laughs> shoe. This is the Horizon Vanish, and it's the only shoe in the Speed Collection that doesn't utilize Wait, Hyperburst. Where, where'd it go? It's oh, right here, oh, Robbie. It's right here. Oh, it's gone for a yeah. Instead of using the Hyperburst, it uses Ultra Flight, which is a foam that feels more traditional. Okay. And this actually gives a ride that reminds you, if you ever ran the Nike Lunar Series, this kind of feels like a Lunar Racer. I mean, people love the Lunars, so. Yeah. And with it being as light, with this mesh upper, so you saw the same mesh upper that you're gonna see in the Elite and the Speed. It's super breathable, super lightweight. There's just enough padding in the heel collar here to keep it locked in on your foot. 
This shoe is for fast days. This is 5Ks, 10Ks. You're not gonna wanna go way long in this shoe unless you're really efficient. If you go for like a 13.1, I don't think anybody's gonna be running a marathon this. I could be wrong, prove me wrong, people. Send in your pictures, but this shoe is insane. I mean, I, it, it's ridiculous because when we put on the scale, I couldn't believe it because shoes just, you don't see shoes like that that often. And this one actually weighs 5.6 ounces or 160 grams. I mean, that's that's like, you're starting to bump up against, can you really get lighter than that? Yeah, it's lighter than your shorts. Yeah. And the great thing is, this comes in right around 100 bucks. So, it is, you're trying to make room for a speed day shoe and you have your daily trainer and you have that, and you're like, I want something that makes me feel super fast on race day. This might be your guy. Yeah, definitely wanna check that out. Yeah. So now, we're getting into the shoe that has probably the most buzz in the Skechers lineup right now. Oh, for sure. I mean, this is, I mean, for the last two years, this is what everyone's talked about. When's yeah. it gonna come out? We've seen different iterations of it. We've seen this iteration of yeah. it, which, let's be honest, we wanna see that wider lease, bring it out. Zebra. Please, Please Kurt, come Give on. the people what Give they want. The people want it. I mean, when we first tried this, this was a little too firm for me. I just wasn't. I wasn't super stoked with it, but I was also trying to compare it to another shoe that has a plate in it, and I don't know that that's a fair comparison. I think what this shoe does well, it does well. The evolution of this turned out great, and the new Speed Elite that's available to the public, and people are already snatching it up. You may have seen the video I did with Connor on this shoe. Check it out, Running Warehouse. But this turned into this, and even without the zebra stripes, really happy with this shoe. But we want the zebra back too. Yeah, we'll get the zebra back. Yeah. Nay. Um, anyway. It's a horse. It is, it's sort of, of it's course. a striped horse. Yeah. yeah. It also has great gum that lasts about 30 seconds of flavor. Fruit striped gum. Yeah. So yeah, the Speed Elite, I find this shoe to be really fun to run in. It is firm, it is snappy, it's got a nice amount of cushioning. Some people are saying it's not gonna be good for like a marathon distance, Okay. but I don't know, it really depends on how you run. I know people will be using it for the marathon distance. So I don't I don't think that I would limit how far you could run in this shoe. It's just gonna be on feel. You know, you said it is a little more firm. How does that play into the overall ride of the shoe? Does I mean, it still have that bounce and cushion and flex? It doesn't have the soft feel under the toes that some people are looking for in, in their speed day shoe. It's softer than say the Brooks Hyperion that we tried out, okay. but it comes down, it's actually got, the plates are unattached and they kind of come down almost like an H combining it together. So it's got a, a different plate feel, but you definitely feel the snap in the forefoot. You got plenty of cushion in the heel. Again, four millimeter drop for the speed shoes. This one is a little more expensive. I think it comes in at 190 or, or so, 180. 180. Yeah, 180. And we'll, we'll list out the prices in a little key because Rachel will do that in be editing. Down, yeah. Somewhere down here. Yeah, we'll do that. Speed Elite comes in until it's the most expensive in the Skechers line, but it's for that person that wants that carbon plate. And this one has carbon mixed with PVAX, I believe is the plate um, that's in here. So it's more durable than the original version, which was a straight up carbon. The first one had some issues with durability and lasting. Right. This seems to have worked out those problems. Skechers has a winner here. I'm excited to see uh, what they're gonna do with this shoe and how it's gonna evolve. I'm hoping that maybe there'll be one that comes out with a little softer feel under the forefoot. I planned on getting more miles in this before we did this uh, talk and walkthrough. Unfortunately, I had to put my training on pause for a little bit <laughs> and I'll get back to it, but I'm excited to try a double digit run in this shoe but, and just see how it feels. But you've run in iterations yeah. of this before, just not the final product. Right, that we just and I've, I've actually run in this one. Okay. I, yeah, I, I've run in this one. I did a, uh, a like a five mile just test run. I was so excited to get it. I just had to get it out of the box and give it a shot and okay. it's fun. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just fun to run in. It is a shoe you're gonna wanna pick up the pace in. But again, if I could only have one of these shoes, it's gonna be the Razor 3. Yeah. I mean, and for that, as far as a speed shoe, you would say that's more of a do-it-all shoe from any distance from 5K to marathon. You can yeah, I mean, I, I've run a half marathon in the Razor 3. I will tell you that I don't know if it was the day or my foot, I was starting to feel okay. a little bit uh, of like, you know that tired at the end of a race where your feet are just yeah. kind of like, I've had enough. 
I did start to feel it, so I'm wondering if it would be enough for a marathon for me. Okay. But I've run in stuff like the Kimbara and, you know, the Zante, so I'm guessing I could probably okay. be fine in a marathon in this. For those faster distances, say 5K, 10K, what are you going with? Yeah. I, I, I'm dying to, I, I've worn this for a short run. I haven't done a, a race in it. Okay. Um, you think it would? You think it would translate well to say the shorter distances, same even over the even over the speed elite? You know, I'd have to do some back-to-back -back workouts okay. and test it out, right. or you maybe can't, even can't take confirm right now. Yeah, maybe take them both to the track and make a game time decision. Okay, but I don't know. I this the weight on this and just how it feels underfoot. It is a little firmer, but. I think this could be a great 5K shoe. And this year, I'm really trying to drop my 5K time. All right, so Maybe we might have to do a little bit of an update. Yeah, see, see what we happens. have to do an update, so we'll see. So that's it, that's pretty much the lineup for the Skechers shoes. There's more coming out throughout the year, so we're gonna see some updates to this lineup. But I think we have you pretty much covered on your daily trainers and your speed workout. And we even have some of the trail. Yeah, that's, and look, we actually just took that out, and you can see that it's, uh, it's been used. It's been used. Yeah. We, the, we rolled around in the mud with our hands. So yeah. We bring it on the this show. is, uh, we, it's kind of like hipster <laughs> aging. We yeah. went out there. But no, I, I tried this out on a trail race. This was a lot of fun. It's a lightweight shoe with a hyperburst. It's got a plate in it that acts as both a springboard and a rock plate, so that's nice. Um, we're gonna see some more stuff on the trail. We're excited about some of the new stuff. There's a Max Trail coming yeah. out, new Max Looks Trail. Looks really sweet. It's gonna yeah. be dope. So Skechers is probably one of the most, from top to bottom, I'd say, lineup of shoes. Yeah. There's not too many companies that can compete with the full lineup that Skechers has. If you're sleeping on Skechers right now, you need to wake up. Yeah. Because they're legit and they're coming, they're gonna be coming out with some even better stuff for yeah. late 2020, 21. Yeah, stop hating, get on oh, the train. I just wanna hug these guys. Oh, you are hugging. Give me a hug there. Yeah. So that's it. Um, Robbie, what do we want the people to do? I mean, people, we want you to subscribe to us on here, like this video, like us on Facebook. Yeah, smash us. that like button. Just smash it. Follow us on Instagram, all the channels. Yeah. Join our Believe in the Run group on Facebook. And if you really love us, join our Patreon. There are so many ways for you to interact with us. Just hit us up. We're here. We got we're, you. We're waiting for you. Yeah. We've been here the whole time. Yeah. So and if, if you want to see another lineup of shoes, let us know what brand you're interested in and we'll give you kind of what their daily trainers are. I know a lot of people had questions about what we compare the shoes to. This isn't really that type of video because yeah. you know, if we started comparing each one of these shoes to their counterparts and other brands, this would be a hell of a long video. But guess what? If you're in our Patreon group, you can ask us directly. We yeah. can answer any dang question you want. That's true. And you know, as far as carbon plate comparisons, everybody wants to know that. We probably do a carbon plate shoe roundup at some point, and similar to this, where we go through all the shoes that have plates in it right now that are competing for your attention at the start line. Yeah. So we'll go through that. So look for that in the future. If you cool. have any other ideas you want us to do, leave it in the comments below. So that's it for the Skechers lineup. We're done. Look, yeah. Hey, I would throw all these shoes at Rachel, but I don't think she can catch them all. We, we should still throw them. That's no? Just, all right, yeah. let's just do this. Some people can't handle the limelight. Like Could someone hot. please get Robbie a hot tea? I like a hottie. That was me being fast. That's yeah. how I actually run. You were super fast. So the ele uh, the ele the elevation. I'm gonna say ele evolution. Are we? Is that it? I think so. All right.